Hi, Karen Wells, Independent Sensi Consultant, Lavington, New South Wales. Happy New Year. I hope you're all safe and got through unscathed because it can get a bit tricky at this time of year. I've got an empties video, but I do have some housekeeping that I need to go through first off. Um, I am a consultant in Australia and I don't have an international market. I've had a couple of inquiries lately about um, from international YouTube family that would like to purchase some Australian products on my website. And although I am unable, I am able to go into the international market and have customers in other countries. You only purchase when on my website, and I'm got an international which I don't have at the moment. You only um, purchase items that are available in your country. So if you're in the States or you're in Europe or the UK, and I did have an international market, you would only be able to purchase items that are available in your region. So there are three regions. I'm in region three. Region one is the US and Canada. Uh, region two is the US and Europe. Um, and Australia and New Zealand are combined in uh, region three. So I can't help you at this stage. Now, I did make inquiries. Um, at the moment, it is a definite no. Uh, if you go on a consultant's website and they do have international connections, then you, bought, you purchase items from that same country. So not yet, but you never know. And um, as soon as that's available, I'm sure you will find out. The world will be informed. Um, and also, before I get into my empties, uh, we have a new wax collection coming, which is the Catching Z's, and it's the Sleep Collection. Here in Australia, it will be released on Tuesday, the 12th of January, and it's usually around about between 8.30 and 9.30 in the morning here. And there'll be five wax bars. I'm so looking forward to this. I know we had Bring Back My Bar and we had Sense of the Season and Home for the Holidays and that sort of thing, but I'm ready for some new stuff. And then in the 1st of February, and I'm not quite sure what time on the 1st of February, I suspect it will probably be later in the day. It will probably be like after 7 p.m. here in Australia, Australian Eastern um, Daylight Saving Time, um, because it usually turns over in Idaho time, which is like, is it 11 hours? Anyway, roughly that anyway. So February 1st, we'll have a new catalog, we'll have new waxes, we'll have new warmers, we'll have like new everything, um, plus some of it, the favourites, which will stay. Uh, I'm still waiting for my new catalogs and my new testers. And uh, later this month, on the 19th of January, we are able to, as consultants, get uh, new um, products kits and I won't be going for the laundry or the body or the the clean bundle anything like that I will be going for the wax of course so I'll get all the new waxes and I'll be making samples and sending them out with new catalogs uh, to my customers and that sort of thing so that is very exciting I'm really looking forward to for it I hope that Tuesday probably at the latest fingers crossed I'll get my testers so I'll be able to stick my snout into those which is something very exciting looking forward to that but anyway oh <laughs> you can tell yes it wax is my passion so catching Z's on the um, Tuesday the 12th we'll have five wax bars it's $47 um, Australian and 52 New Zealand and um, there'll be five individual you'll be able to buy the individual bars at ten dollars each the way to save is to bundle and save currently January is 10% off on all wax bars. So even with this new collection, if you pop them in a bundle and save, it is 10% off the bundle and save, which is normally $50. So for six wax bars, it'll be $45. So you can try all these five from the collection plus another, and um, which means, I don't know, you're making a saving of 
at least one one point five yeah that's right one and a half wax bars it is absolute bargain anyway i dug this catching z's uh you've got and they've got a sleep mask i'll get there lights out is the first one and it's sandalwood sweet vanilla and warm amber sounds gorgeous pillow time and i keep on wanting to say pillow talk because i think that was a movie like oh, a millennia ago um, pillow time is blue tansy which is a very popular scent at the moment it's in all your essential oils that are coming out and all that sort of thing so blue tansy silk blossom and calming passion flower i think that's what i need at the moment i'm a bit hyper um shut eye is fuzzy peach jasmine and uh, a touch of cedar and then sleep happy which is violet bergamot and musk clouds i love bergamot so that'll be interesting to see that and snuggle up is the last one which is cashmere woods angel lavender and soothing sage so that's tuesday the 12th very exciting um what else was there was there something else i needed to talk to you about yes discontinuing items uh, we as consultants get a list on a regular basis of all the items that are out of stock and because we are changing over we're in a transition month there'll be a lot of items that won't be available as of february the first and i had a friend say to me that she really wanted the hivernace hivernace day warmer that's really difficult for me to say and um she was going to wait until february because her impression was that these items will go into the clearance section and i have no doubt there will be quite a few items that will go into the clearance section but there will be items that will sell out well and truly before the 1st of February. And this particular warmer is a heartbreak for my friend because she waited. If there is something in the current catalogue that you really, really want, I suggest you jump on, order it, get it sent out to you before the 1st of February because there is no chance that it will you know there's no guarantee i'm sorry that it will be available and in the clearance section don't be like my friend heartbreaks sensey heartbreaks we've all had sensey heartbreaks oh well okay wax firstly i'd like to show you my brick i have been warming through my brick this is sugar cookie and we don't get bricks in Australia, and I certainly hope that one day we do. Sugar Cookie is one of my favorite mixes, and my friend Courtney in Canada sent this to me in a friend swap, and I would like you to see that I am warming it. It is one of my favorite scents to mix, and especially with some of the scents that we've had coming through lately. Um, there's one that's baked apple pie, which is in, um, was that our oh gosh i've probably got it here bring back my bar it was far too cinnamon for me not enough bakery and sugar cookie really sweetens it up and i love it so there you go all right non wax empties i only have one i've been using all the other items but i'm very frugal obviously uh, i go by the directions of everything and everything even though it might be a small bottle for instance the body wash um i actually find that um lasts for absolute ages so currently i'm working through a now and zen body wash it's only halfway through and i'm absolutely loving it and it won't be in my empties for a while fragrance flower this was um cucumber and oh, i should have looked it up cucumber and something anyway aloe vera and cucumber anyway it was beautiful, very nice. I, it's not a favorite fragrance of mine. I have trouble with cucumber and I also have trouble with uh, cactus and aloe vera and that sort of thing. It's something my nose does not like. I colored this green and, um, or did I? I might've actually colored the actual oil, but it's been sitting in my spare bedroom and even though it does still smell a little bit I've uh, replaced it I can't remember what I've replaced oh yes I do <laughs> I have put very snowy spruce 
in my spare bedroom. I don't think I've colored the flower this time. But anyway, if you do color the flower, you actually void the guarantee that, um, that comes with all Scentsy products. So there you go. It's still a little bit oily, still smells um, a little bit, but um, finally got through. They last for ages. And it'll be interesting to see how long the very snowy spruce lasts in the spare bedroom. Got through a couple of testers um, with our whiff box, was it last month? I think it was. We actually had um, some scent pots and they came in sample one and sample two. And I've got through those. Um, I, I don't know, there's nothing, I didn't really, I. I'm not really one for surprises, you know. I don't like guessing games, all that sort of thing. So I melted them. I've got wax. I will melt them. And uh, Pacific Sandalwood must have come in a uh, whiff box at one stage. This was in um, combination to a wax bar. It is one of my favourite scents. It is just gorgeous. I love the masculine and um, a woody scents. And sandalwood is one of my favourite. Pacific sandalwood, love that. The other non-wax items <clears throat> is cotton cleanups. In my empties, you will find at least one packet of cotton cleanups. I can empty, I can clear out three full-size warmers with one cotton um, pad. They're a round cotton pad with a little handle. You just pop it in the dish when the wax is warm. Um, that's my preference. I don't like hot waxes. I don't like to dig out the wax just in case I damage the disc or the actual disc um, dish. And um, cotton cleanups, love them, highly recommend them. Now, is that it? Yeah wax bring back my bar toffee butter crunch i was really looking forward to this one and it is really nice it's not as bakery it's not as kitchen as i would really like i think i i've got it in my scentsy club um but only because we do have very few bakery scents and this is really nice i can amp it up with sugar cookie um from the states a friend swap Bring Back My Bar, Vanilla Oud. And that's the other thing. Oh, how was Bring Back My Bar voting? Oh, look, it finished yesterday afternoon and I went into a slump. I have been voting so much. Every screen, every interconnected device, internet connected device I passed by, I logged on, I voted. And then when the voting stopped, it was like, okay. Now we have to wait a couple of weeks before we find out. And I'm hoping and praying that we get some um, new retired fragrances. And a friend of mine said on Facebook the other day that um, in her country, they get a lot of the same scents come back every Bring Back My Bar. And I've noticed that here and also in other regions as well. Let's bring back some different ones. If you've got favorites, stick them in your Scentsy Club and then you can get them forever and ever as long as it's in your Scentsy Club. They can send it to you. Only get every three months and then you can win one bar every three months and you've got your favorite there sent to you as a subscri uh, free subscription service. All you're gonna do is pay for the actual items. And then we can get a new new set of retired fragrance. That's, that's my idea. Anyway, Vanilla Oud. Be Fabulous was the scent of the month. And this was a beautiful purple wax. This is a gorgeous uh, lemoncello scent. And um, I just really love this. It's coming back in the Codlet catalogue. Sneak peek. Um, the new February one. I really like this. My only... Uh, criticism with this is it doesn't last very long it comes out of the gate like uh, all get out and then within a couple of hours it's gone <clears throat> excuse me summer rain in the current catalog beautiful blue wax this is a gorgeous and it's interesting because it does actually have an aquatic note to it plus a floral and I don't normally like the aquatic ones but this one I absolutely love this one will be retiring. I think it's retiring at the end of January. I've popped it in my Scentsy Club and um, 
I like that one. I've got a couple bars anyway. Cutie Pie Cupcake, again, friend mail from the US. This was gorgeous. Really loved this. And um, I really wanted to try it because I'm quite adventurous with my mixes. And if I put Happy Birthday and the Mix It Collection Grapefruit and Orange, I can almost get Cutie Pie Cupcake. Not available here in Australia, but... I can make a mix. Okay, happy birthday from a previous uh, Bring Back My Bar. Love this. Didn't like it on its own, and I was really surprised because the first time I had the opportunity, I think it was a, um, a D stash that I was able to get a couple of bars. Didn't really think much of it. Thought, mm, okay. This is in my Scentsy Club. I get two of them every two months because I mix this. I mix it with absolutely everything and it's absolutely gorgeous. Happy birthday. Great mixer. Beautiful pink. Oh, there we go. Another one. Amazon Rain. <laughs> in the current catalogue. And I think it will always be in the catalogue. Beautiful green, limey green wax. And this is absolutely beautiful. It is a light uh, floral without being too flowery. It's um, refreshing. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And after the bakery and the woods and the, everything over Christmas and New Year, Amazon Rain was a delight. Fijora and Kiwi. Uh, I bought this. It was in the ca current catalogue. Is it going to be retired? I don't know. And uh, uh, Fijora, I think, is actually a, a cactusy type thing. Um, very eloquent there. <laughs> uh, green wax. And I thought, well, I better melt it because it's in my stash and didn't really like it. Won't be a repurchase. Not for me, anyway. Bring back my bar, Apple Crush, beautiful bright lime green. And um, me and Apple, we don't get on so well. And I didn't really like this. It was very light and um, won't be a repurchase. Whipped Vanilla Pear, bring back my bar, currently still available. Put it in your Scentsy Club, it is beautiful. It, the pear, I was so impressed with the pear. I love pear scents. And it is very light. It is a kitchen scent for me. Fill up all my warmers. And it only lasts a day, but it's very beautiful. Love it. Um, Citrus Isle. I got this. It was a, a yellowy colour wax. It was in the clearance section. And it is very citrus. I love citrus. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know whether it's still in the clearance section. The clearance section's been clearing out very well. Honey Pear Cider, bring back my bar. And I love this. I've got quite a few of these. It is cidery. The pear is not strong enough for me. It could have been a little bit more pear. Um, but this is a lovely winter scent. And Honey Pear Cider, I don't know. I, occasionally when you go on to the website and you actually type in a fragrance, you can't find it, um, type in your fragrance. You can actually, it, as a consultant anyway, you can sometimes find it in the warehouse and that was a bit of a fine. Salted Caramel Toffee and this one was in the Home for the Holidays um, collection. It was a sort of a toffee colour wax it's uh, not my favorite again salted my nose and salted don't get on very well and i'm not quite sure if i like caramel too much either and this was a gift from overseas a fresh ice the nh hell um wax to come out with their warmers and uh, this was actually, this uh, surprised me. I've got it in my bathroom um, and it's beautiful. It was a pale blue wax and it's, uh, was it sandalwood and cedar? Anyway, it reminds me of a camphor uh, chest. It is very heady, very nasal cleansing. It's just gorgeous. Well, I doubt very much whether it will ever be available in Australia, but I thoroughly enjoyed that. Fresh ice. Simply Black Cherry. This is from a friend swap, and I think this was from the UK. It was a beautiful cherry, dark cherry colour wax. I love cherry. This is Simply Cherry. It was beautiful. Very nice. 
Gingerbread Hugs, Sense of the Season Collection, gorgeous packaging, sort of again, was a brownie biscuit colour wax. Uh, very nice. Uh, gingerbread Hugs, have I got this? I, I have got this uh, in my Scentsy Club. I've made a Scentsy Club for three months so that it will come in March. So just as the weather's getting cooler, I'll start getting the winter scents. And um, this one is very gingery. And it's a good mixer with sugar cookie. Cup of Comfort. Uh, was it in the clearance section? I think it was. And this is sort of like a mocha smelling. I, I actually mix this with other things such as uh, Bring Back My Bar, Perk Me Up. It's got that bitter note that I really don't like. I love the coffee to start off with, then it goes bitter. But Cup of Comfort and also Hug in a Mug are good mixes for me. Crimson Berry Christmas, and again, that was from Homes from the Holidays. Another beautiful dark red wax. All berries for me, all berries, absolutely beautiful. Good, excellent Christmas scent. Crimson Berry Christmas in my Scentsy Club, so I can get some in March. Bring back my bar, Sweet Plum Pastry, currently here in Australia. Now, this had so much hype about it, couldn't wait to get it in my warmers. And it's a bit of a disappointment. Um, I think it's the black plum. Uh, it's not enough bakery for me. Hello, sugar cookie. And it sort of lightens it up a little bit. It doesn't last for very long, but it is quite pleasant. Um, it's in my Scentsy Club. I think I have. Um, yeah, I think I have. And happy holidays. And this was from the Let It Snow collection, which came out, was it the... Was it, um, it must have been the holiday collection. Oh, this is just absolutely gorgeous. It is one of my favorite tree scents. And it's got pear in it as well as tree. It is in my Scentsy Club. I've got a few of these. It'll come again in March. Absolutely love it. Not very good at this time of year, but it's perfect then. Inhale, exhale. This was the scent of the month. Was it January 2020? Uh, it was salted and I had this for such a long time. I did a scent of the months for last year, like a video on them, and uh, I kept it specially so that I could do that. I do not like it. Has it come back in the catalogue? No, but I think it was in Bring Back My Bar Voting, so I'll be very disappointed if it comes back. Although it's sold out, it was very popular. And that's the other thing, you know, the nose is such a fantastic thing and how different they can be. So just because I say I don't like it doesn't mean that you won't like it. Um, Cozy Cardigan, a favourite, love it, was in my Scentsy Club and it's coming back. So it's no longer in my Scentsy Club. It's a beautiful, soft, feminine um, scent. It does have rose in it, but it's not over floral. Beautiful. Cozy Cardigan, there'll be a few of those coming up, I guess. Tea Leaf and Rose. This also was a scent of the month. Was it last year or the year before? Might have been the year before. Beautiful, dusty pink. Um, rose, very rose. Absolutely love it. Very nice. Was in my Scentsy Club and I've got, you know, oodles and gobs. <laughs> Baked apple pie. Bring back my bar currently. It was a sort of an, another bakery colour. And very cinnamon for me. I was disappointed because I've watched so many videos and they said baked apple pie had a pie crust note. Not for me. I don't even get the apple. It is cinnamon. I love cinnamon. I really do. It's just that it's not something favorite marshmallow mint in the current um, bring back my bar don't forget to put these in the sensi club before they go away because some of them are not available for sale but they are still available to put in your sensi club so look if you haven't got a sensi club you are going to miss out um, it doesn't have to be a big sensi club and there are so many perks to having it Always get your favourite bar. They'll send it to you regularly. There's 10% discount. Um, over a certain um, amount of items, you get half price. So you can get your whiff box at half price, which is a bargain anyway. So marshmallow mint, beautiful green wax. 
pale green wax and it is um, mint and um, vanilla marshmallow and it's really very nice it's a good mixer and um, I actually oh, I'm cheating here and I probably shouldn't tell you I've got a D stash of uh, some pink tulips from the States and it was ridiculously expensive but my friend um, in the Netherlands is uh, uh, sent me and it's her fault I blame her a sample of marshmallow mint and pink tulips and mixed it together and it is a beautiful mix it wasn't in bring back my bar voting otherwise I would have been voting for that like crazy so m maybe it'll be in the summer because um, we, we were voting for our, our winter um, but marshmallow mint absolutely loved it in my Scentsy Club good mixer use it towards the end once the mint goes you get this lovely vanilla marshmallow very nice cocoa lime lovely green color wax uh, lime color wax in the current catalog will be retired I melted this to see if I wanted to get a couple more bars or put it in my Scentsy Club no I might order another bar it's not my favorite it actually has a note towards the end of it I like the lime but towards the end mm, not my favorite okay what else is here everything's fallen over it was so okay current scent of the month uh, is it jade and jasmine which is jade lemon jasmine and a touch of rosemary beautiful green wax sort of like a bit like that absolutely gorgeous lasts for a couple of days in the warmer beautiful 10% off at the moment may go away it's very popular everybody that smells it loves it so jade and jasmine scent of the month for was it november jeweled pomegranate november or december anyway beautiful again another dark red wax and it is really nice it's just a little light i would have liked it to have a little bit more stamina um very nice but i've got a few of those and tahitian vanilla and sandalwood now this was from the holiday collection in 2019 it is one of my favorite scents and this is a scent that i should have put in my scentsy club but didn't the vanilla and the sandalwood is just gorgeous and this is actually from a friend of mine who didn't particularly like it and um, sent it to me and um, thank you very much amy i love it thoroughly enjoyed that savored it <laughs> shaka um, i believe this is from the french swap from the uk beautiful blue wax and it is masculine and like oh mate sexy man mm. i've got this in my spare room i'm actually fortunate enough to have another bar of this voted like an absolutely obsessed mad woman for this i will be so disappointed if it doesn't come back i might have to friend swap it again but shaka masculine scents don't seem to be that popular which i'm very disappointed about but anyway get over it grapefruit orange mix collection now this is the one that i mix with happy birthday sugar cookie uh, i mix it with so many things i love citrus so always got to have those on hand is it in my scentsy club i don't think so but i i have it was and i've got quite a few bars of that lemon sorbet this is one of the scents that i actually mixed with happy birthday to get a uh, cutie pie cupcake it was very nice didn't quite do it whereas the grapefruit orange really did um find your happy taste of sana oh, no and oh another one jade and jasmine current scent of the month love it there you go all right so have i said everything i think i have okay housekeeping and um bring back my bars finished and scent of the month 10 percent off for february uh, january all wax bars 10 percent off so pick up your favorites stock up and um 
there is a on on my website there's actually a last chance uh, section and all the retired items all the retired scents um, will be actually on there don't forget to bundle and save because you get an extra 10% off new collection coming on Tuesday and that's it please stay safe please like and subscribe and um, we'll talk to you next time bye bye